Heroes and heroines of all ages. When the world tells you to get a life, you're always welcome at the 1-Up Block. My name is Dan the Man, your host, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Mega Man X. When we last left off, we took on Storm Eagle and Flaming Mammoth, and we got both of their respective weapons. And we also got uh, two upgrades. We got the headbutting helmet upgrade, and we got the Mega Buster, or not the Mega Buster, it's the X Buster. We got the X-Buster upgrade, which lets us charge our buster to a third power-up, which changes our, each of our weapons to do something special. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, but the next one we're going to be taking on is the Chameleon, Sting Chameleon. His attacks are Chameleon, Sting, and Iron Tongue. Now, I probably shouldn't be taking on... Alright, sorry, I almost talked over that, but um, I probably shouldn't be taking this guy on just yet because uh, there's a heart container I can't get here yet, I believe. This is pointless to fight those. I'm just going to jump over the Lumberjack because the Lumberjack sucks butt. Uh, there's a heart container I can't get here yet because I haven't beat one of the Robot Masters. It's one of those situations where the, the area changes right here. I think if I s slide down here, you can see it. Uh, there's I need water to be down there for me to be able to make that jump, but uh, unfortunately the water's not there, so I can't get the heart container. Now the reason why I came to this place was a boss fight with with this robot guy. Pretty interesting. He's pretty easy too. Uh, he has a lot of health, but he's relatively easy. Uh, all he does is hop across the stage. He jumps to your position, uh, or your current position, wherever you're at. And then sometimes he'll start to claw you, which, you know, is very easy to dodge. It'll actually go out of your range if you're uh, far enough away from him, so. That's all fine and dandy. So you just keep jumping and shooting him. Uh, you really live up to Mega Man's namesake here. Uh, don't bother using the charge shot. Just jump and shoot him regularly with the lemons, because... You know, lemons do the most damage uh, because they hit consecutively instead of having to, uh, like, he has no recovery uh, or invulnerable frames after he takes a shot, so you can just literally keep wailing on him with each shot. So if you're good enough, you can just keep taking pop shots at him, and eventually he'll go down, but he has a shit ton of health, but, you know, it's not that bad. This capsule contains a new type of body armor. It will reduce damage to your systems by 50%. So yeah, that's why I came to this place. This piece of equipment is really, really handy. Uh, I don't care if I have to backtrack to this level. Um, before I actually take on the Sigma Castle, I'll go back and collect any upgrades I missed. And I'll show you where they're at. Can I... Okay, thank you. Thank you, game, for letting me go. Uh, I'll go back and show you where all the uh, upgrades are uh, that I missed because I'm not skipping them. I'm just doing this in my own weird order. Uh, instead of falling backwards or flinching like Mega Man would, uh, when X gets hit with the with his armor on, he uh, actually like does a guard. Like, uh, I don't want to let this guy hit me because this guy does a lot of damage. I'll do it on another enemy. Shoot him. Jump and shoot, man. Jump and shoot. Okay, there we go. There's a lot of those stupid rock guys. Uh, this guy shouldn't do too much damage. See? It's pretty cool that they changed the animation and all for it. Uh, I think these guys just give a lot of health in general, so if you need to farm something, farming their uh, caterpillars or whatever is a really good idea. I really don't need to do that, so I'm just not going to bother. Alrighty. Eh. Okay. Here's this guy, which I hate. Even though I'm having way better luck with him in the uh, during the Let's Play, I'm actually avoiding his ball and chain more than I was during the practice run, so that's good. It's fan-freaking-tastic. Ow, you dick. Get out of here, you piece of shit. Ah. So, I got a demo of the... Uh, this is completely off-topic, by the way, but it's relevant because, you know, Mega Man. Um, I got a copy of the Smash Bros. demo, the special one that doesn't have a limit, you know? You can jump up and out of your mech to get this if you need it, but I think if you let your mech sink too low, it'll be destroyed, maybe. But, um, yeah, I got the demo for Smash 4, and holy crap, I can't wait. 
is so good. I love it. Hey, douche, don't, don't you, don't punch me. Oh, yeah, I can do like a dash punch. <laughs> we can't take this into the boss fight, though, so we have to drop it. But here is the boss fight with Sting Chameleon. It's kind of annoying, but it's not that bad. Here's Sting Chameleon. I really like his design. It's pretty basic because he's just a chameleon, you know, but uh, this is one of his moves. He jumps on the roof and then starts wagging and it makes the spikes fall. Uh, when he goes invisible, he's completely invulnerable to any attacks that you may have for him, so don't even bother. Uh, dodging his shots are really hard to do, unfortunately. Uh, well, not it's not hard, you know, but you're going to take damage during this boss fight, which is why getting the X armor upgrade or the capsule armor... I'm not sure how far or where his tongue goes. I'm not where, sure where the limits. Uh, he, he can really easily get you with it, too. So it's, you know. That's the only attack he normally hits me with besides the falling uh, roof spikes is the the tongue whenever he, he disappears and then reappears right next to you, which he's probably about to do. Yeah, here it goes. See, and then he does that stupid crap. And then get a couple of shots on him while he's swinging like an idiot. And then he's going to disappear. Now, there's a reason why I came and got this armor upgrade up. It's not that I need it for uh, most of the boss fights. Like, I could do it without the armor. It's just Spark fucking Mandrill. I hate that asshole. His damn wall... His, his dash punch is so fucking irritating. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Ow, you son of a bitch. It looks like this will be close, but I can use an E-Tank if I need one, or not an E-Tank, a, uh... Oh, son of a... Okay, he's gonna go. I can use a Sub-Tank if I really needed one, which, you know... If I have an E-Tank, or a Sub-Tank, and I have the ability to use it, I'm not gonna pass up the opportunity, you know? I have... It's there for me to use, why wouldn't I use it? Alright, he has one more shot. Okay, he's gonna come out and... BAM! Not too difficult, especially with the armor. The armor helps out a lot. You take a lot less damage. Alright. I'm quiet for those sessions so you can hear the music and so I can take a swig of my water so I don't run out of moisture on my tongue, but we got the chameleon sting. Pretty cool weapon. You get some pretty good range on it. He has a password if you need it. Pat, pause the screen if you want to take my password, you son of a bitch. But, um, yeah, now we're going to be moving on to Spark Mandrill, I think. Should I go to Spark Mandrill? Uh, yeah, let's go to Spark Mandrill. Let's get him out of the way. Will I regret this? Probably. Alright. I always still get pumped for that shit. Alright, Spark Mandrill stage. Uh, Spark Mandrill stage is actually different depending on whether or not you've beaten Storm Eagle at, by this point. If you defeated uh, Storm Eagle, this stage is actually really annoying and the lights flicker on and off like they are doing currently. Um, It's not that bad, but it's irritating. That's all it is though, so I don't really have to worry about much. I don't think it hinders you at all. There's actually an E-Tank down there that we can't get yet. I'll show you how to get it later. Or a sub-tank, not an E-Tank. Gotta stop calling them E-Tanks. Dan, ow. These guys are annoying, too. Uh, there's a couple of... I think they show up in specific areas. So I guess I could avoid them, but I just can't be bothered to stop running like I'm doing. You know? But um, coming down here, we're actually gonna have a mini-boss, and this guy is kind of an asshole, so be prepared. He drops these balls of water on the floor, and they make you stuck, and it's no fun. What you want to do is just avoid the fuck out of them, because if you avoid the water and not touch them at all, uh, he rarely jumps down and falls from the ceiling to hurt you. For the most part, he just tries to uh, shoot the water out at you. Sometimes he will come down like he just did, but most of the time he stays, you know, where he needs to be, and then you can just... <sighs> get him, but uh, if if you have the opportunity to shoot something with your Mega Buster just regularly instead of charge shotting it, 
Uh, I recommend you do. You'll actually get more damage off on it that way. Unless it has invisibility frames where after you shoot it, it just stops taking damage. Uh, but, you know, rarely does that happen. So, take advantage of the small buster. And then if you need to, like, avoid a, an attack or something, that's when you do a charge attack. Like, you charge it up, and then when you're done dodging, you shoot it at him, do extra damage <clears throat> from the charge. It doesn't matter how much you charge it up. Uh, if you get a full charge off, I think it doesn't do too much more damage than it normally would, so getting the purple blast isn't as helpful as it should be, I suppose. Um, the purple blast, or the, the third charge, is mostly for the uh, sub-weapons because they give you a unique ability. Oh, crap. I'm going to go back over here charge up my buster because you want the purple shot to kill these guys fast because they're fucking annoying eh, there we go these little roller guys here are kind of stupid charge another one up because there is another turtle here there we go and there is one more on the other side of here so charge up another shot bam wham bam thank you ma'am okay I think there's another one right here so out ah, you son of a bitch not yet not just yet Dodge that guy. There's another one, but I'm gonna take damage. Cause, oh my, to hell with you, game. Being a dick to me, what did I do to you? Oh, here we go. Uh, I skipped it, son of a bitch. I gotta go backwards, so let's backtrack. I, oh God, I hate those sons of bitches. They're so irritating. They just freaking fly by. Okay, where is it at? Um, It's back here with the turtles. I'm sh I'm positive, so... We're going for an, uh, a heart, by the way, in case you couldn't put that together. Oh, it's right here, it's right here. So this is kind of irritating. You have to jump just right to where you land on this, and then you're able to get a second jump. I did that on my first try, which I'm actually kind of happy I did, but you have to dash jump off the wall, and I'm never going to be able to do it again. Oh, there we go. You dash jump off the wall and land on that wall. It's really tricky to pull off. Kind of pisses me off that they put it there, because... I remember the first time I tried to get it when I was playing this the first time through, uh, you know, once upon a forest. Uh, it was really stupid to try and get that motherfucker, but I got it. No skin off my nose. Ow, you son of a bitch. Try to get some help because I'm about to get to the boss fight. And these stupid bastards are ever so irritating. Uh, maybe I can... Oh my god, I hate that. I hate you. I'm going to take more damage than I need to here, so I'm just going to go into the boss fight and probably die. So, that's going to happen, because Spark Mandrill is kind of a douchebag, but here we go. Welcome to the Spark Mandrill fight. Alright, you son of a bitch. So, he has one really irritating move that I hate ever so much. This is not it. This is actually really... I prefer it when he does that, because it makes it easy to hit him, but... That's the move I hate the most, is when he punches the fucking wall, because it makes you fall down. Oh, God, okay. Dodged. Dodged that bullet. Uh, but when he goes on the roof, he just kind of swings towards you and then does that shit. The problem with it is, uh, okay. No, don't do that, you dick cheese. Oh, God. He doesn't really have a... His patterns are really... Oh, God, okay, um... Sorry, but I have to use, uh, some tanks. I really don't want to die here. Your E tank or your sub tank always uses its fullness to uh, heal you. There we go. Sorry about that. I probably did, I didn't even need to heal right there, honestly. But whatever. I just really didn't want to lose that battle. Yeah. I really. I just hate like of all the. This game is entirely easy to me, except for Spark Mandrel, but we got the electric spark. There we go. The Spark Mandrel fight goes either way for me. Sometimes it's really easy, and sometimes he just gets a whole bunch of those punches off, and it pisses me right the fuck off. But, um, I'm gonna go jump into this one right now, just so we can even out the episodes, because we have three more boss fights left. Launch Octopus. Fantastic. This level's not that bad. The boss fight's kind of annoying. It's uh, definitely one of those ones where you have to uh, take it with a grain of salt. By which, I mean, of course, uh, you will take a lot of damage during the boss fight. And there's 
pretty much nothing you can do about it, so you kind of just have to go in knowing that. But uh, we're not at the boss fight yet. We're in the level, and this level's pretty cool. It's like a little beach. Got a little sand stuff going on. Be careful in this water. Uh, just like Mega Man, uh, X jumps higher when he's in the water. So that's pretty cool, but you're going to want to be careful because you don't actually want to... Oh, here we go. Here's a mini boss, and he's kind of annoying. But all you have to do is keep shooting it. Like I said before, if you don't have to charge your buster, don't do it. Don't worry about it. You'll get more damage off by just simply shooting the Mega Buster, or the X Buster. It's not the Mega Buster. Ooh, health. And we regained our, uh, our E tank or our sub tank. Son of a bitch. Alright, ignore these guys and keep going. Here's the very same boss fight we just did. But you're gonna, you're gonna have to be careful here, though, because this time he can suck you into that, the spikes below, which kind of sucks, but, you know, it's not that bad. Oh, there, oh, what, how did I even, oh, ah, ah, okay, see, that's, that's fucking annoying, and it's just, it's a, it's a hectic battle. I guess you can't really, can't chop that up to the game for being a dick there, that was mostly my fault. But still, let's just take damage. Oh, God. Oh, I fucked up again. It's... Well, this is stupid. This is bad. I... This is awesome. I don't like this fight right here. This one in particular. Just do not care for it at all. Because this part is really stupid. I'm just going to keep wailing on him. Don't worry about... Don't worry about anything. Start jumping when he's sucking and pushing or whatever. Okay, shoot! No, oh, what the fuck? And he just keeps doing it. Sometimes he'll shoot shoot the little worm things more than he'll do the sucking animation, which for some reason he didn't do there for me those first two times, which I'm kind of pissed about. Um, Here we're going to want to take this one up and then hop off onto this little plate here. Or not plate, this ship. You're going to just want to wail on it. Just, just just, smash your shoot button. Shoot your lemons at this little button here. Avoid the missiles if you need to. Missiles are annoying. It'll fall down here. Destroy this area. And then drop us into a secret area. Ooh, it's magic. Oh, and I did that shit. Oh, I did that in the practice run too. Uh, I, I dashed and hit the roof. Am I going to have to fight this? Fuck. Okay. Alright, alright game, you piece of shit. Okay, so I'm back, that was redonk, oh my god. It happened to me in the practice run too, a dash here and then hit my head on that, so I'm gonna come over here and then dash. But uh, coming over here we'll start a boss fight, which is a really easy little mini boss fight, where this little worm thing just comes out of nowhere and starts, you know, roaming around the room. There's nothing you can do about it. Uh, I think it's mostly trying to to just touch you, but I think it just has its own agenda going on. Oh god, I took a shot there. No! Son of a bitch. Okay, be careful. I do not want to touch the spikes. Oh, I hate spikes in the Mega Man universe, doesn't everybody? Okay, shoot it. Okay, there he goes. He's dead. Good. Are you gonna drop any health for me to pick up, or...? No, of course not. Thank you. Appreciate it, but here's our heart container. Oh boy. Let's try to be careful here and not kill ourselves on the spikes. Thank you. There we go. Spikes are the devil in the Mega Man universe. You, we don't like them. They don't play nice. Okay, I think, yeah, right after that, we're actually going to have to do the boss fight a second time. Which is really stupid, if you ask me. It's not a hard boss fight, though. All you really got to do is stand on his back and shoot him in the face. See? Look at that. Smash your attack button. There's something really satisfying about mashing your attack button, though, I must say. Okay, stay on top of him, jump, then go and do the same thing over and over again until he dies. Charge up an attack so we can uh, jump around and then hit his face. And there we go. Not too bad. Is he going to drop health for the boss fight, please? Oh, life. How many lives do we have? Two? Fantastic. Good. Uh, we're going on 20 minutes. That's not bad. We're about to be at the boss fight here, too. These little guys here will suck you up and eat you. They have a little vacuum mouth. It's kind of annoying, but, uh, doesn't really do anything to you, to be perfectly honest. But here's the boss fight. 
and oh, what a boss fight it will be. We'll see how it goes. This can go one of two ways. And because I got the armor, it'll make it easier. But it's still going to be a pain in the ass. So my strategy with the buster for this guy is to get kind of close and just wail on him with your buster. Don't even... Sorry, I burped there. Don't even try to avoid his little catfish, guys. When he does this, you charge up your buster away from the drop and then shoot. When he hops around, you just dash under him. Ah, he's gonna do that stupid... He's gonna shoot his little catfish at me a lot. I call him catfish, but they're probably not even cats, you know what I mean? Okay. Just keep, just keep at it. I think if you keep a certain distance, he just shoots the missiles or whatever. He's shooting the cats a lot. Yeah, there we go. Get him in the loop of shooting the missiles. Or not a loop, it's not really a loop. See, you're gonna take damage in this fight, period, so... Don't worry about it, just go guns blazing. And then the fight is relatively easy. I took a lot of damage, but I came in damaged already and did okay, so... There we go! Yeah! Alright. So that was 22 minutes, that wasn't so bad. You get the homing... the homing torpedo? I think it's supposed to say homing, but it doesn't home. So maybe it's supposed to say horming, and I just don't know what horming is. Pretty sure it's not a word, but, um, yeah. <laughs> I said um a lot. Yeah, that's all the time we have for this episode. A hero's work is never done. Join me again next time as I continue to ta- or we continue to tackle Mega Man X. Later days, everybody.